So someone may be trying to uh, change up the way they approach you or um, they want to change their relationship with you. Uh, this could be somebody that you're friends with that maybe <laughs> I'm getting friend zone. So maybe someone that you're friendly with or on friendly terms with may want to change the status of your relationship or someone is in a relationship and they're keeping a secret that they don't love this person and they want the situation to change. Somebody could be either connected to a karmic situation here, meant to teach you a lesson, or someone is hiding their feelings regarding love that somebody didn't love another person. Which, since love is in the reverse, I'm kind of leaning more towards that someone is keeping a secret that they really didn't love someone. And they want something to change their situation or their status. They may be having difficulty um, moving away from whatever situation they're in. They could be feeling like they're trapped in something. Uh, maybe they feel like they're connected. I mean, maybe they have children or bills or something. Hopefully we can get some more information on this. <clears throat> I want somebody different. So, yep, I was on the right track here. <clears throat> Life is rocky. So, someone is attached to somebody that they don't want to be attached to anymore, and they're keeping this a secret. Whether this is you or somebody else, um, someone is in a relationship where they just don't love this person. It, maybe they did at one point, but they want something to change. Um, he or she wanted a serious relationship, but I'm a funny guy or gal. So there, there could be, um, you know, maybe somebody, you know, thought that the opposites attract thing would work out in their favor, but they may be finding that, um, someone is too different from what they wanted or themselves, or, you know, there's just constant conflict. I had something right on the tip of my tongue and it just it slipped. <clears throat> Oh, this person could have married. They could have actually married this person, so that may be why they can't just up and walk away because they are actually in a serious relationship. <sighs> so somebody didn't take the time to think something through before they did it. They attached themselves and grounded themselves with someone and they didn't really think it was a big deal at the time. And now it's a big deal because it's not just easy to walk away whether they have children together or not. There's a serious commitment that has this person bound. Confession is good for the soul in the reverse here. So somebody has a confession to make. Like I said, nobody was supposed to find out. Oh, man. I want to plant you and grow a field with y'all. So maybe they do have children. Maybe at first this person, you know, um, they could have been tempted by the low-hanging fruit. They could have been attracted by the shallow aspects of somebody. Or somebody was wearing a mask and kind of duped them into um, a relationship. Somebody could feel like they were duped or tricked. Because the relationship is not how they expected it to be. Something went left. Possibly after a child or children was born. So after after somebody felt like they got their hooks into someone here, things could have went left real fast. Why can't you trust an Adam because they make up everything? So somebody started lying. Somebody was lying. They could be lying about their feelings. They, the other person could be lying. They could be a compulsive liar. I don't care, but somebody does. So no one was supposed to find out that someone was just staying in a relationship possibly for the children and that part doesn't have to apply to everyone but for some people someone is in a relationship here um and they they're attached to this person children could be significant because now somebody is attached to somebody that, that and they can't just like walk away from them and nobody was to find, supposed to find out that this person really doesn't care about them I mean, they could be the kind of person that doesn't really feel emotions either. Like, they do things with more of a lustful energy. Um, this person may need to heal or do some shadow work before they're considered a divine femme or masculine. But this could be somebody who obviously wants to come towards a divine femme or masculine because they're showing up in your energy. 
So there's some healing that needs to go on with this person. Oh, here we go. Let's see. They could want to come towards you and offer you flowers or be compassionate to you. But someone was a flying monkey. And this could even be the person that they're attached to. They could have found out that they were a liar, that they were dishonest. And nobody was supposed to find out what this person was up to. And maybe the person they're connected to found that out. That could be what was no one was supposed to find out for some. You know, somebody got a message of concern that really bothers them. Somebody wants to communicate with someone. Okay, so let me hold these up. So someone may have been talking to someone or someone is talking to somebody, but they can come across as unemotional or cold-hearted. So someone could have found out that someone was lying about talking to someone or communicating with somebody else, so this could be an issue of a third party. Or, once again, this could be someone who's just hiding their emotions and they're coming across as cold-hearted. Somebody received a message or received some sort of communication here that this was not a, a good, happy love situation. Maybe they wanted to send that to you or maybe they um, disclosed that they were unhappy in a relationship and no one was supposed to find out. This person sees a positive outcome with you but they're being unemotional about it. So they've been thinking about a divine femur masculine and daydreaming about them. But they have they want to communicate something to you, but they can't. I'm, this person could be married. I'm strongly getting marriage vows, so... This person wants to give you a peace, a spaceful peace. They want to offer you your flowers. They want to be compassionate towards you, Empress, a feminine energy, or this is you that wants to be compassionate towards somebody else. But I feel like this is somebody who wants to be compassionate and come offer you your flowers and give you a safe space, a peaceful space. Somebody wants to be your peace. So maybe you've had a lot going on or you've gone through a lot and, you know, just flip the rules as needed. But, um... Somebody could even just see you being at peace, even though you're, you're going through a lot. You could be in your king or queen of swords energy, or this person could be in their king or queen of swords energy. They're not really feeling emotions. They could be kind of cut off. I don't want to say like sociopath, something like that, but this is somebody who's not really in touch with their emotions, but they're feeling them. So this person may not... They may be good at, like, disassociating or disassociation or being detached from their emotions <clears throat> and just kind of going with the flow and doing what is expected, possibly in society or as what is considered the norm. Um, somebody could have a touch of autism or something or some sort of, I, I don't want to call it a condition, you know, everything that people have makes them who they are, but... Um, you know, somebody may have some quirks or something that comes across as unemotional or detached. Maybe you don't react a specific way, or maybe this person doesn't react a specific way, like if they're give it, given a gift or something, like how most, you know, some people would be like, oh, you know, and like show emotion. This person is not that kind of person that would show emotion very well. They either hide it or that's just kind of how they're built internally. That's kind of why I'm getting, like, that autistic vibe, you know? Um, a lot of people with autism, um, you know, some people go their whole lives and find out as an adult that they had um, a touch of autism. But whoever this is, they're not really good at expressing their feelings or showing them. They may not act um, in a traditional sense or form. They express their love in a different way. Um... And this could be the kind of person that would, like, buy gifts or something like that. And I'm not enabling or excusing people who do love bombing. This is a different, this is different than that. <clears throat> this person gives gifts as an act of love. We all have love languages. Um, and this person may use that as a form of showing love because maybe they don't know how to show um, their affection in other ways. Something like that. That's just kind of the energy I'm getting. 
somebody was on the wrong path and they could have been betrayed by somebody who was disloyal. So they could be attached to somebody who found out, you know, this this person could have found out that they were attached to somebody who was disloyal. There was a betrayal somewhere here. You could have been with this person at one time and they could have betrayed you. Um, or you could have betrayed them. Um, there was someone here. It could be the person they're attached to, to, whoever this is, that betrayed them, that they are having difficulty getting away from. Uh, someone was not someone's wish fulfillment. So someone really thought that somebody was like they're going to. They thought this person was going to fulfill their like deepest wishes and desires and all that. And. They could have betrayed you for this person, you know, um, or the person that they chose to be with and attach themselves to this karmic was not their wish fulfillment and they were betrayed by this person. However, even though this person has some sort of like tendencies, we'll say, or they come across as unemotional, they take their vows seriously if they are married. Now, they don't have to be, but I'm for some, you know, they are. And whoever this person is, they do take these things seriously. So even if they don't have these loving feelings towards this person or they lost love for this person after they betrayed them in some sort of way, and it doesn't even have to be cheating um, on them. They could have just been, they could have just found out that this person was dark and deceptive and they were lying and they could have tried to have someone falsely arrested or locked up. You know, someone who could be emotionally unbalanced. And they're not happy with what they ended up with. This was not a positive outcome for this couple. Never trust a smiling cat. So someone cannot be trusted. Okay. Someone is not trustworthy, whether this is somebody that you were connected to or somebody that um, a divine counterpart would be connected to. So somebody can't be trusted because they could be abusive. There, there could be some form of abuse that happens. Um, someone may lash out. Somebody could get physical. So not only is someone a liar... And this could even be a feminine, okay? So whether it's the masculine or feminine, whoever this person is attached to, um, if they don't get their way, they could get physical, like throw things or put their hands on somebody and then possibly like accuse the other person of getting physical with them. Um, I, I heard bait and switch. So somebody really portrayed themselves to be a loving and caring person. And, you know, they really attach themselves to this person if they have a ch had a child this, the person that attached to them, if this is a masculine, this would be somebody who wanted to do the right thing by this person so they could have gotten married just, you know, to follow those social, social norms or whatever this is. Um, <clears throat> so they tried to do the right thing and they could have married this person if they got pregnant or said they were pregnant, whatever. Um, come to find out this is like a raging psycho bee. Um, you know, I'm using that as an example because that's the energy I'm picking up you know that would be similar to that so somebody gets physical when they don't get their way they threaten a lot they do a lot of threatening whoever this person is that can't be trusted and once again it could be a man or a woman but if this is you know somebody was a control freak it's my way or the highway so when someone doesn't get their way they become abusive and they lash out so they're very controlling very, very much controlling. <clears throat> Somebody could be under the influence, um, high, intoxicated, something like that. So someone could have um, an addiction here. This person who can't be trusted could suffer from some sort of addiction that they're dealing with because they need to go heal themselves. They really don't think that something is a big deal. They try to gaslight the other person into making them feel like it's not as bad as they think it is. Like, they're trying to excuse their abusive behavior. 
So this could be a mother figure or father figure here, nature's most perfect food. So, you know, like homemaker vibes, whether this is a masculine or feminine, you know. Um, this could be somebody who could stay home and take care of the children kind of thing. Um, sometimes men do that as well. But um, they're not trusted. They lied possibly about wanting to stay home and take care of the kids or they lied about wanting to work and they actually want to sit home and maybe they'll do like the household chores for a little bit maybe they they're not a good housekeeper um I, I feel like they keep a dirty house uh, maybe they don't do dishes and laundry i don't know maybe they don't take care of the kids or even want to watch them this is somebody who could have like um and no i'm not a medical professional but i'm i heard manic depressive disorder or major depressive disorder something like that um, so this person could get really depressed and lay in bed a lot or sleep a lot. Like I said, this person needs to heal. They need to seek some sort of professional help to help them with this. But this is overwhelming to whoever it is they're attached to because their actions have caused such um, a rift in their relationship that this person just doesn't love them anymore and they don't want to be attached to them. And they're trying to figure out how to change the situation. But, once again, um, somebody could also be connected to someone for finances, and I'm not necessarily saying it's the person who can't be trusted. Um, <clears throat> if this person does work outside the home, like, maybe they need um, help paying the bills or something, you know, it's not easy to survive on one income. Maybe they need this person to help, you know, put into the household, and maybe this person loses, like, every job they have or something like that, just so they can sit at home and be depressed, and I'm not saying they use that as an excuse, this person very much so um, has some issues that need to be resolved internally, and this person may have thought that they could help them, or they think that they could have, they felt, the person that does not want to be with this karmic situation anymore, and I'm just going to have to call it a karmic situation because I just don't see this being a good thing. I don't see it working out. There's not a positive outcome here. They could have thought that, no matter, you know, they could help this person or, you know, provide some sort of acts. It's like they tried to do more and more to help this person, but in turn, it's actually enabling them and not allowing them to heal because they're very codependent. Whoever this person is, is very codependent and they're actually enabling their behavior because it's like when a kid acts out for attention any attention is attention so even if they're getting you know in trouble it's still a form of attention so the more someone is doing to try to help this person and calm things down the worse this person gets so it's like having the opposite effect like they feel like they're trying to help this person but it's blown up and it's gotten way worse and i feel like something really bad could be um you know like a big explosion a big altercation um like a showdown like a final um there, there's gonna be some sort of altercation um it's not gonna be good it, it could be physical someone was a joker um they're not getting a clean slate they can't have a clean slate because they don't heal and this other person feels like they're helping them and they're not helping them they're just enabling their behavior you know because they're still getting attention <clears throat> this person does not know how to be okay on their own at all they can't be left alone for a very um lengthy period of time even a few hours alone could be devastating for this person that's see if we can't get a few tarot cards here this is really sad because i feel like the person that's attached to them that is having trouble staying attached to them it's like they want to do the right thing but they're just miserable it's <clears throat> it's like this person is making their life a living hell there was definitely a betrayal here there was definitely a betrayal. And this is regarding a treasure. Somebody here um, may have treasure. Um, this could be in the form of trying to steal someone's treasure. Or um, it's, it's because that um, someone views another person as a treasure. So the person they're attached to could be having feelings towards the Divine Femur Masculine. 
um, whether you've been with this person or not. So this could be an ex. And if, okay, time out here. If this is your ex, they are not the abusive one in this situation. No matter what happened before, whether you had a toxic situation, that would not be the person who is um, the abuser or the person who is dishonest or lying in this situation. Okay, I need to clarify that. Do not take back an abuser. I am not saying that. Um, and I will not say that. <clears throat> the cycle is ending. The cycle ended with this person between these two um, because of the betrayal death rebirth a transformation change that's that adaption there's changes coming something has to end so something new can begin so they kind of tend to swords their relationship with some sort of betrayal or act of betrayal this person's going to be set free from this negative situation this negative relationship whether this is you or somebody that wants to come towards you this could be you trapped in this situation currently depending on how you are so there was a heartbreak when somebody traveled towards someone else and offered them, you know, a cup of love here or their emotions, their feelings. So somebody could have stepped out in this relationship. Um, if this was your ex, this could have been somebody who, you know, um, even if they weren't necessarily abusive, this could still be somebody who stepped out on you and caused you heartbreak. I have to read it both ways. Yeah, but someone's thinking about money. So someone wants to separate themselves. Like I said, there could be a financial component. If this person does get a divorce or go through a separation here, they could be concerned about how they're going to pay their bills. That does not necessarily make this person a gold digger. This is somebody who maybe their mortgage payment or electric bill or whatever is through the roof. Okay. Um, you know, it's really hard to survive on a one income family situation nowadays. So that does, I'm not picking up the energy that this person is a gold digger. They just, they're concerned about money and being set free from this situation, about being set free from somebody who is abusive, who is a liar, who could be a cheater here. This could also be a dark practitioner. So somebody could have been doing spell work or binding magic, something like that. Um, love spells, whatever. Um, to betray another person and this person is wanting to go towards someone else and make them an offer so this person was also doing some sort of spell work to stop this person from coming towards and in the spell work could even be in the form of manipulation okay it doesn't have to actually be spell work but with the high priestess here in the reverse spell work spell work um, this is like practitioner vibes here There's a Ten of Swords moment coming, a permanent ending here, because this person wants to go towards, either you want to go towards someone and make them a solid love offer, or they want to come towards you, however this resonates, but there's there's going to be a permanent ending, and this person wants to come towards, or you want to go towards someone and make them a solid love offer. And maybe if this is you, or someone else, Someone may be wondering or confused if you feel the same way about them. So if this is somebody that wants to come towards you, you may be the unemotional one, okay? You both may not be revealing your emotions. You may both be keeping that a secret, especially if this person is attached to somebody and you're not a homewrecker, you know, you don't do third-party situations. This person knows that, or they would know that. So this person feels like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. <clears throat> they know that you wouldn't trust them if they came to you while they were still connected to this third party or whoever they're married to. Even if it is karmic. But somebody was disloyal, somebody was sneaking, and someone was cheating. And it wouldn't be the person who wants to go towards the divine femur masculine okay so it wouldn't be that person it would be whoever they're attached to that betrayed them in some sort of way <clears throat> somebody can't rest because balance needs to be restored it's like there's a spirit of anxiety and restlessness in the house someone needs to cleanse their house um well <laughs> these people someone has a spirit attachment okay <clears throat> 
and it could be this practitioner. If this is somebody who is practiced, you know, and you don't have to be a practitioner to get a spirit attachment. I don't want that to be the takeaway from this. But somebody does have a spiritual attachment here. It's that depressive, anxious, restlessness, and it's like affecting this other person and they can't rest because balance needs to be restored and this can even be spiritually if this person is supposed to be with their divine counterpart and they're not you know if someone's a false person the hierophant in the reverse they're a false spiritual person they could feel like <clears throat> they could portray themselves yeah this person's a, a practitioner they do some form of divination but on the darker side of things or for darker purposes self-serving pur purposes they're not the real deal here. They're not the um, an official person with the Hierophant and the Reverse, but they're a practitioner. And there was some sort of communication that this person was doing or making. And it could have even been petitioning deities to do binding, to stop someone from having rest. This person could have caught them doing some sort of spell work, legit spell work, on the person that they want to go towards <clears throat> to stop this from happening. Yeah, there's a financial imbalance, and there was a lack of Ace of Pentacles. So Ace of Pentacles, someone's not getting, this is an unsuccessful relationship. There was not a new start because of a heartbreak or a betrayal. This high priestess in the reverse here, this practitioner, whoever this is, they, they intentionally caused a heartbreak so that this person would not leave them. They were trying to bind them to them. Whatever seeds they planted, they're not growing financially here. So somebody could have tried to use their spiritual gifts to make a buck or something like that, but, um, and this could be in the form of, like, hexing, cursing, but they're not respectable, they're not seen as someone who is held in high honor, so however they practice, and I'm not saying all practitioners are bad, I'm just saying, however this person is doing their stuff, they're not held in high honor, they're not respected, and I feel like they're not respected in the spiritual community, and... They either lost their gifts or they didn't have them, and they were doing spell work, and they could have pissed off, um, you know, people on the other side of things. <clears throat> they were doing something to create barriers to stop this person from leaving them, to stay attached to them, because like I said, whoever this person is who is, like, abusive, who lashes out, they're very codependent, and this could be the feminine energy. Um, this could be a feminine energy, and this person could have been trying to stop a masculine from leaving them. On the flip side of that, you know, just flip the roles, this can also be um, a masculine who is abusive towards a feminine and a dark practitioner, so. Yeah, they were communicating with someone, and it could even be maybe they were, yeah, there was communication with the page ones, they sent a message. They were sending messages. They were um, in a new cycle. So they sent a deceptive message or communication here. So they're lying about who they're communicating with. Or they sent some sort of communication out to keep this person bound or trapped to them. Like I said, this person likes to threaten things. They could have filed for divorce, threatened them with their child. Um, they could have called the cops on this person. I don't know. There, there's this person's definitely a karmic. Whoever this person is attached to, they could be trying to hide the evidence of their practices, and um, <clears throat> the person that they're attached to that does not want to be attached to them anymore may have found some sort of evidence of their practices or what they're doing. Someone's trying to, um, you know, someone's worried about their financial stability. So they're trying to make sure they're financially stable. And someone was a thief. Somebody was spying, trying to steal something here. A thief of joy, happiness, money, resources, not a positive outcome. This could be someone who is trying to steal someone's destiny or partner. <coughs> Excuse me. This could be somebody who just wanted someone um, for the sake of having them because they didn't want someone else to have them. You know, they didn't want them to be with their divine femur masculine because this would be a good person for whoever they're supposed to be with. Balance has to be restored because this there's not a positive outcome for this thief 
whoever this person is. Yeah, because they're not in their life's calling, there's a permanent ending, they're not building a legacy. There is nothing that's going to withstand the test of time in this union or relationship. It's just over. There's no legacy here to be built. It's like they really tried to, you know, build their foundation in the sand and, you know, wave will come down like every five minutes and knock this foundation out from under them. And so as long as they stay attached to each other, they're going to keep suffering karmically. Even if you are in the upright, if, even if you are the divine femur masculine who's attached to this crazy ass karmic, you're going to keep reaping the karmic debt that this person keeps bringing to your household. Because those spirits, those attachments, they're attached, you know, there's a lot of stuff in that house, okay, or home. You don't have to live in a house, you can live in an apartment, whatever. There's things that are attached to this person, and the home, and the relationship, because someone was supposed to learn their lesson and move on, not marry this person, but we all have free will, we all have choices, and for some of you, you may not have married this person, um, or they may not have married someone, but they're trapped with some sort of connection or commitment regarding this, or at least they feel that way. And this person was a, a thief joy. They were, you know, it, they took someone, <laughs> I, I hate to say it like this, but they took someone that didn't belong to them. Okay. They're Whatever contract they had, it was meant to be a karmic contract. They were supposed to learn their lessons. This could be like a false twin flame situation. That, you know, that twin flame journey can be a bitch. But, um, you know, it is what it is. You have to learn your lessons. Not everyone gives you the answers. You have to figure stuff out for your own. That's how you ascend. That's how you, you know, do your shadow work and heal and level up. But there's someone here who's going to be set free from this. They're going to be set free here. Balance is going to be restored. Eventually, this person's going to set themselves free from this situation. I feel like it looks like once they get their financial stability under check or once they know that their finances are going to be stable, I feel like that's what they're waiting on. Because you're seen as someone who was held in high honor and they want to send you a message. They want to communicate something to you. And this person... For some of you, they could have already separated from this person. It just depends on the timeline. So please keep that in mind. This is past, present, or future. So for some of you, this could have already happened with this person. Um, you are the high priestess in the reverse. The ten of pentacles here. Um, high priest or priestess. Um, there's going to be financial, family security, long-lasting, um, longevity. There, there's uh, good things here. The Ten of Pentacles, if you and this person are together, this would be, um, I'm getting a divine union. This would be considered a divine union here <clears throat> between you and, okay, and you have to figure out where you're at in this, okay? You're either the karmic, <laughs> you're the person attached to the karmic, or you're the person that the person that attached to this karmic wants to go towards. You have to figure out where you are in this. If this is your message, not every message is for every person. Take what fits, leave the rest. And, you know, readers aren't supposed to give you every piece of information. We're supposed to help guide you, give you clarity so that you can make decisions you don't learn your lessons if you're being spoon-fed you don't grow you don't mature um it's like exercising a muscle if someone is moving your muscle for you or you know i don't know if you know those old belly machines that you used to strap on and it, it would feel like it was kind of shocking you a little bit like pulsating that's not the same thing as you doing your own crunches you doing your own sit-ups you have to exercise your own spirituality, your own muscles. You have to learn your own lessons. You cannot depend on other people to give you every piece of information and spoon feed. We are meant to guide you, to show you, to give you some sort of clarity. But if you want direct answers, like specific specifics, you need to do the shadow work. Don't expect the practitioners or people who do divinity, tarot readers, psychics, don't expect them to spoon feed you, spoon feed you every information and be cautious of those who do. Because they may not have your best interest at heart, 
or they may just be lying to you altogether. So just please be careful. Please be careful. And don't have expectations of people because then then that then you come across as karmic, okay? Um, you're not learning your lessons, so you're going to stay in that karmic cycle until you learn your own lessons. Don't expect other people to give you every single piece of information or tell you exactly what you need to do. You need to connect with your spirit guide, your spirit team. You need to figure shit out for yourself. Just like this karmic person who is abusive, that is codependent, they need to go heal themselves. The person they're attached to, they cannot help this person. The more this person tries to help this person who needs to go heal, the worse it's getting. There's a reason for that. They need to do their own work. Please remember that. Don't expect a band-aid to heal you. You know, just covering something up. You actually have to do the work. You have to connect and be divinely guided. Everyone has their own path. No one can tell you what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be figuring that out. That's what this whole life is for, right? You're supposed to be figuring out your own path. Not expect other people to tell you what your path should be. Um, keep that in mind. There is a king of pentacles here. So someone may not be good with managing money. Someone... Maybe a gold digger, you know. So someone may need to buckle down on their finances. There could This can also be an indication of a loss of wealth. So this masculine may not be a gold digger. They just may have lost a lot of money because they were spending it to make this person happy. Emperor here. So this person could have lost money because they were trying to buy things because that could be their love language. Like I said, this person could be someone who... Um, you know, doesn't really express their emotions very well. So they buy gifts or, you know, um, do that as a way to show love. So, you know, this person could have lost a lot of money trying to make this other person happy. This karmic person. Yeah, there's something this emperor needs to balance out or has to be balanced out regarding this emperor. Because someone has an addiction or obsession. There's a hierophant here that has an addiction or obsession. And this hierophant is in the reverse. This false spiritual person is addicted or obsessed with doing spell work on this person. Um, possibly with money. <clears throat> that may be another reason this person, this emperor, may not have money if this is a masculine here. Um, they may not have money because someone's addicted to spending it. Someone could have a shopping addiction. You know, this is a very toxic situation for whoever this is. I mean, this is a very toxic, toxic relationship. And it's not going to get better until they separate. But, once again, that is their life lessons. They have to learn this, they have to do the work, and they have to make the decision. If they stay involved in this, um, you know, that's on them. They have to learn their lessons. Otherwise, they're not going to ascend and become a divine femme or divine masculine, you know. Not everyone is divine. So a group was involved, this could even be a family. <clears throat> Someone could have gotten their family involved, or a group, an organization. Um, they could have even had a group of their friends, like a coven, okay? Um, I, I heard Coven of Witches, and I, I don't know if that, that may even be the first time I've even actually said that, um, I don't usually jump to that, but, um, if this person's a practitioner, they may, be, um, have, like, a group of people they get together and do practices with, 
someone is desperate for some money. So if someone was expecting unexpected money or an inheritance and someone's desperate. So someone used a group of people here or got together with a group of people to steal something, um, a money, unexpected money or an inheritance. They thought they were going to get this and they're desperate. They could have moved too quickly. Talk to me or call me. So somebody only wants a divine femur masculine. Someone only wants somebody here. Um, stop making me angry in the reverse. So someone could have found out that this thief, that somebody only wanted money. <clears throat> this could be that karmic attachment. That abusive person who is attached to a group of people here. Um, but somebody, somebody wants to talk to you. There's no connection here. We have a connection. There's a connection that's been severed or broken here where that's going to be, um, and it could be between this person who is attached to this karmic, so it could be this relationship, um, so that, you know, this person's very triggered all the time, <clears throat> there's not a connection here, there's not a good connection, someone was only in something for the money, or because they thought they were going to get some sort of money or finances, um, it could be that codependent person, um, they could have used the help of a group, a, a coven of witches to do some sort of financial spell work, or something like that to get some sort of money. But there is a person here who does want to come towards you and be with you. <clears throat> yeah, someone's getting cut off here. I blocked you or you blocked me. So someone's going to get blocked. Someone's going to get cut off. Someone's getting released from jail. And there's crooked judges. So there were crooked judges involved in a group here that were trying to get some sort of unexpected money or an inheritance from somebody. Somebody got cut off and blocked though. So they're not able to do this. So this could have to do with that karmic situation and a thief and a betrayal. Yeah, all's fair in love and war. Someone really didn't care. They were very unemotional. They didn't really care about who got hurt in this situation, and it could even be this abusive, you know, liar, cheater, whoever this person is. Someone's afraid of their own shadow, because if they were doing spell work, it's backfired, they could have stuff going on in their house, a lot of paranormal activity, that's why they need to cleanse their house, they have a lot of attachments. Someone's playing with fire, like bad, 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 bad. Someone's really playing with fire. Someone's going broke. Someone's all in with this. Like, someone is giving it everything they've got to do this spell work here. Um, don't step on anyone's toes. And they're doing this to keep someone bound and trapped, to stop them from being set free. So someone is willing to do anything and everything to keep someone trapped and bound to them. And they thought they had an ace up their sleeve, but they don't. Because they thought they had some sort of spiritual gift. Maybe something worked one time, or maybe a spell worked one time. They either lost their power, or they never had it to begin with. And that is these spirits, these deities playing tricks on this person, letting them think that they, man, you gotta be careful messing around with this stuff. Someone was a bottomless pit, they were just greedy, gold digger energy, time, money, energy, resources, very cold hearted. Someone's holding a secret, hold your tongue, so someone's holding their tongue, someone's keeping the secret, someone knows a secret, someone needs to speak a secret. 11th hour Hail Mary pass, so someone did that, um, you know, you know that song by Jelly Roll, God, I need a favor, okay, but this person didn't pray to God, <laughs> this practitioner was not praying to God, they petitioned some dark shit to make this happen as a Hail Mary pass, and now they're bound to something a dark and stormy night. They're going to a dark and stormy night. They want it. Beggars can't be choosers. They could have even begged this person. They could have wanted them to be begging them to stay. So they could have wanted this person, you know, to chase them. Something like that. Oh. They're going to regret this decision. They're going to regret this. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. God. 
I don't even want to go any further into that mess. I just... I don't know how many times I gotta say it, man. Some shit you just don't mess with. When you... When you contact those deities, those... When you call on those spirits and shit... Someone was willing to do anything by hook or crook, and they had the wool pulled over their eyes, so someone was duped. Because someone was willing to steal something at any cost. Time, money, energy. At the relationship itself. Somebody wanted someone's person. Someone did not belong to them, and I'm not saying we own people, so don't don't even get into that bullshit. Um, but somebody was with someone that did not belong to them spiritually, under whatever contract, spiritual contract, whatever, divine union... Um, someone wanted someone else's person. Yeah, someone went to jail. So someone tried to pull the wool over somebody's eyes. <clears throat> Somebody could have ended up going to jail. Someone tried to get someone arrested. Somebody could have actually spent some time in jail. Someone could have pulled the wool over someone's eyes to keep them trapped in a mental jail, physical jail. And Aries is significant. And they used a group of people. Birds of a feather flocked together in the nighttime. So there was a group of people in the nighttime here. Possibly in the fall. An Aquarius in August could be significant. They got a group together, they got their little coven or whatever, they were doing their spell work. I don't know if they were dancing around the moonlight, there's nothing wrong with dancing around the moonlight, I'm just saying, they petitioned some shit, they either didn't know what they were doing, they didn't have spiritual gifts, or they pissed off the wrong people. Because they could have sent some spell work towards somebody who didn't deserve it, okay? Um, someone who is in the upright, someone who's on the right side of things. A true divine masculine or feminine. Like I said, not everyone is divine. Just because you go around claiming shit doesn't make it true. And I wish people would understand that. Just because you get on a post and say, you're this, that, and the other doesn't make it true. Some of you are. But if you are, why why do you have to advertise it? You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> something could be significant in the last 24 hours with an Aquarius. Some of the ancestors are rolling over in their grave. I'm telling you. They could have called on their ancestors, and their ancestors are like, what the fuck did you call us for? Why'd you bring us into this bullshit? You know you're not in the right. Someone's gonna get their... <laughs> I, I, I'm just seeing this picture in my head of someone, like, passing away, and then their spirit, you know, their ancestors just be waiting for them. Like, we've been waiting a long time. Like, mm -hmm. Go to the corner. <laughs> like, someone being put in timeout or getting their ass spanked, you know, something like that. Like, they're waiting to... to tell this person how they fucked up like you fucked up a Taurus could be significant in december somebody spilled the beans here patience is a virtue you may have had to be patiently waiting on something um possibly an escape route if you're connected to this person this karmic situation something was just a wild goose chase someone was just a thief this person could be abusive, just staying attached to someone for money, you know, because they don't want to be on their own. It's like, I'm just hearing there's no love lost here. This per neither one of these people love each other. Like, not like how they did. Maybe they did in the beginning where they thought they did, but I feel like it was more of a lustful spirit, not love. Um, and then it escalated into a commitment, possibly because a child was brought into this. It doesn't have to be, but someone may have been under a love spell and got married to this person. I don't know. Y'all, like, this is... Alright, I'm gonna close this out. We're already 50 minutes in here. Alright, person, place, or thing. The letter U could be significant. L. Someone's packing luggage. A. Luan could be significant. Lua. Um, God, I feel like I had a name on the tip of my tongue, and it's it's a different one. P. Layla. 
Leela? Leela? M? Paul could be significant. Palm Springs, M could be significant. M&M's. O and R. Someone's last name could be more M-O-O-R-E. Y. Roy. Roy. Rory. Z. Pam. Someone's name could be Pam. W. Do one more. And T. So L U A P. That literally spells Paul backwards. So someone's name could be Paul. M M R O T W Z Y. I hope this helps. Have a good day.